You know, it's one thing that uh, a lot of people have criticized um, is the depiction of Galadriel as this warrior elf. Well, this turns out to be something that Amazon got right. Um, <laughs> O trecho que você vai assistir após essa breve introdução, que trata sobre a visão de Galadriel como guerreira, foi retirado de um encontro organizado por Pedro Freire para o Clube do Livro Paramangulmuro, em parceria com Vinícius Serrano e Isabela Grossi, em 6 de agosto de 2022. Pedro Freire é professor das línguas inglesa, francesa, italiana e portuguesa, bem como tradutor e Time da Toca Rio Preto. Aqui você também confere o perfil parceiro da Vila dos Hobbits. A versão completa desse encontro virtual será disponibilizada em breve, legendada pelo próprio organizador. Esse trecho, bem como outros, foram gentilmente cedidos ao Tolkien Talk. Carl F. Hostetter é um cientista da NASA e tolkienista há décadas, sendo figura-chave na Elvish Linguistic Fellowship. Ele é autor de numerosos artigos sobre as línguas de Tolkien e editor de dois periódicos sobre o assunto, o Vinyar Tenguar e o Parma El Dalamberon. Durante vários anos, Hostetter recebeu do próprio Christopher Tolkien os papéis e escritos de J.R.R. Tolkien que nunca tinham sido publicados em livros. A partir desse material, ele editou os periódicos linguísticos, tudo com autorização do herdeiro literário de Tolkien. Falando nisso, Hostetter era amigo pessoal de Christopher Tolkien e tinha sua plena confiança, tanto que Christopher o escolheu para editar os últimos escritos de Tolkien sobre a Terra-média. O fruto desse trabalho foi o livro recentemente lançado A Natureza da Terra-média. Além de conhecer a fundo os escritos de Tolkien, já que os recebia diretamente do filho do autor e de ser amigo pessoal de Christopher Tolkien, Hostetter também contribuiu com ensaios para os livros Tolkien, Maker of Middle-earth, por ocasião da maior exposição tolkieniana da história, e para o The Great Tales Never End, o livro que reuniu ensaios de grandes tolkienistas e da própria Priscilla Tolkien em homenagem a Christopher. You know, it's one thing that uh, a lot of people have criticized. Um, is the depiction of Galadriel as this warrior elf. Well, this turns out to be something that Amazon got right. Um, <laughs> of course, it was just a guess. They hadn't seen, you know, the, the nature of Middle-earth, um, where it, it's made plain that, in fact, yes, um, she had a martial side to her, Whether she was actually in their leading armies and such, I don't know about that, but she certainly was, I mean, and Tolkien calls her an Amazon at one point or another, not, I think, somewhere other than nature of Middle Earth. So they're actually right about that, and they've, they've gotten um, kind of bad press on that element. Um, and it seems to be based, uh, by, it, it seems to come from people who are basing their view of Galadriel solely on the Peter Jackson movies, and they don't really have any deep knowledge of, of Galadriel and her history. So, you know, I give them credit for that. They, they, they took a guess and they were right. <laughs> Can I say something? Sure. Of course, please, sir. Uh, hello again. I'm sorry. I, I made a video for a Token Talk channel about this, about the warrior and strong Galadriel. And some people came to us and said, no, you are deviating from what Tolkien wrote. Or perhaps she was a warrior, but she fought with poems and verses and music, like Finrod fighting Sauron. She never took a sword or put on an armor. But there's no sense because Tolkien said that she was athletic, She, she was, uh, she paired the Noldorin, Noldorin princes in strength, uh, power of mind and body. And she was like an Amazon, the, the ancient warriors from Greece. So everything is there. He said she participated in the Alcolonde strategy. She fought there to defend her family. So there are so many passages and people even told me that I was, um, 
corrupting uh, uh, something like this, corrupting unfinished tales because those texts are abandoned. You can't use them because they aren't in the book, something like that. But we know that Tolkien never closed Galadriel's history. And I believe everything he, told, he, he wrote about her, if Amazon puts on the show, it's okay because Tolkien, even though it's not the last option Tolkien, Tolkien chose. So I'd like just to say this, and thank you very much for saying this. I will ask Pedro to, to put this cut, the, the cut this scene and put on Tolkien Talk, because now we can say that Carl Hostetter said that Galad, the war of Galadriel is right. So it's a big name, a strong name in our favor, at least about this video. So thank you very much for saying this. I, you know, Sergio, you know, Sergio, my friend, people don't read it, the box and presuming too much. That's the problem. You yes. Know. Right. You know, it's one thing that uh, a lot of people have criticized um, is the depiction of Galadriel as this warrior elf. Well, this turns out to be something that Amazon got right. So they're actually right about that. And they've, they've gotten um, kind of bad press on that element um and it seems to be based uh by it, it seems to come from people who are basing their view of galadriel solely on the peter jackson movies and they don't really have any deep knowledge of, of galadriel and her history agora que o maior tokenista ou especialista em tolkien da atualidade amigo pessoal do saudoso christopher tolkien e editor dos últimos escritos de Tolkien sobre a Terra-média, disse que de fato a Galadriel Guerreira está certíssima, recomendamos novamente que vocês assistam ao TT Extra número 221, que mostra inúmeras citações do próprio Tolkien sobre o assunto, incluindo a retirada de A Natureza da Terra-média, que o Hostetter fez alusão no corte do vídeo de hoje. <risos> 